Hello all, thanks for watching. Uh, this video I'm going to be painting Tamiya's M8 Greyhound. As you can see I've added a few bits and I'll do a bit of close up stuff in a minute just showing you what I've added um, and then I'll get on with uh, washing the vehicle and giving it a primer before I start painting. So let's give you a couple of close ups. So first up we've got the lower hull. I've used mainly an arbor set in here. Uh, as well as a, an, an Eddard one I had in the, in the spares box. I added a few bolts from uh, Rod, a couple of wires for the radio, which uh, I've got here. A uh, bit of welding, also from Rod, and then I used a, a soldering iron set on really low. It's quite a fine one I've got. Uh, I think this is a Dragon M1 in there. More wires. Let's turn it around for you. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, junction boxes, another M1, a few clips and that and as I said the Eddard uh, ammo stowage thing and also in there of course so that's that uh, on the outside I've added a couple of resin jerry cans and some plastic there to hold it in along with the Eddard bit underneath and around on that side as well and I'll stick some uh, mines and that I've got in there already done uh, a little bit of arbor work on the back and that's pretty much it there. I filled in a few holes and sanded it down. It's got uh, some pedals there. But that's pretty much it in there. You know, a couple of clips on the boxes and hinges. Um, next up, you've got the, the upper hole. More headard stuff. Added these rods to the aerials. Um, the stowage is made from green stuff putty. And the odd bit of spares. There's a resin kit bag there and a Tamiya one. More headard stuff. A um, couple of little uh, handles and that there on the periscopes. More Eddard here. I've added the chains and the little containers for the plugs if you remove the lights. Under here there's a couple of pedals from the Eddard, Eddard set. And then round on the side here you've got more little bolts I've added from plastic rod. Um, and there you go, you can see the talcum powder I've used to stop all the, the stuff sticking. That's that. Uh, I've used the Eddard for the 50 cal. Got some nice chain on it. I'll paint that separately. As I said, there's the radio. I haven't really done anything to that. A um, couple of spares, got some ammo boxes here. I think these are AF V Club. I could be wrong. Um, some mines that come in the Tamiya kit and I've just got Eddard and Eddard. I've got uh, Arbor uh, handles on the side of them. Put that out of the way. On the turret, uh, I've added a few more strips out of plastic here. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there. Uh, more detailing from the Eddard and the Arbor kit. I'll turn it upside down, there's a couple of pedals a few little bits and pieces in there. There was quite a lot of uh, punch out marks I had to fill and sand. Um, and the stowage again, they got Tamiya stuff, uh, some resin and green stuff putty. And that's the turret. But also in the Arthur set you get a set of decals for the stowage items inside like canteen, binoculars etc. And the markings for inside the turret. So as I said I'm now going to um, give the model a wash to remove all of the uh, talcum powder and the dust during the build and then I'll give it a primer with uh, my usual can and then I'll get on with the painting. Okay, catch you in a little while. Here's the undercoat I'll use, just a can of car primer. The model's dry now, it's been washed in some washing up liquid and left to dry. And I'll give it a coat of this which will give it a nice uh, surface for the paint to adhere to, especially over the etch items. And uh, that's it, you, I'm sure you've heard enough of my voice now and I'll just get on with the, uh, the writing underneath as I'm painting. Okay, catch you later. Bye.